Christopher Danielson, which one doesn't belong? Playing with shapes. For the children, the mathematicians, and all who value play. This book is different from other books about shapes. Every page asks the same question, and every answer can be correct. Turn the page to see for yourself. Look at these shapes. There are many ways that they are alike and different. Pick out a shape that seems different from the others. Which one doesn't belong? Why? Oh, I think this book really lends itself to mathematical practice three. Construct viable arguments. I know we're going to have some debate in our classroom. Which one do you think doesn't belong? Why? Did you choose the shape in the lower left? This one right here, this rhombus, the skinnier rhombus. If you did, <laughs> if you did, maybe it's because this shape isn't colored in. Did you choose the shape in the lower right? This one right here. If you did, maybe it's because this is the only shape that looks like it's leaning over. Or maybe you said that this shape doesn't belong because it has three sides. One, two, three. And the others have four. Some people chose this shape because it's the only square. Other people say that this shape doesn't belong because its angles are the wrong size. All of these answers are correct. On every page of this book, you can choose any shape and say that it doesn't belong. The important thing is to have a reason why. Some pages are more challenging than, than others. You may need to put the book down and come back later. When you're ready, turn the page and decide which one doesn't belong. Which one doesn't belong? 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 Dear reader, as you talk about which shapes don't belong, have fun. Don't worry about being right. All properties count here. All ideas matter. A triangle is like a square because they both have straight sides. But if you count the number of sides, they are different. You're thinking in a mathy way when you notice sameness and difference from one property at a time. The properties are more important than the words you use to describe them. If you were use words such as smushed, stretched, bent, dented, curvy, colored in, or cupcake, while reading this book, you're probably doing some great math, Christopher. <laughs>